For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of a... Wait, as an emperor, don't you have, like, no dreams? Isn't your dream just to run a country? Or rather, an empire? In darkness, a doom sweeps the land. Like, listen, I don't wanna, I don't mind shaking up no hierarchy nonsense or whatnot, but I'm thinking that maybe you're a, a bit misinformed about what you're supposed to be doing here. This is ominous hellscape, and now we're in pre-rendered CG background. What the fuck is going on here? This is the 27th of last seed, the year of Akatosh, 433. Oh. These are the closing days of the third era. And the final hours of my life. There's the theme music. Do you know what we're playing? Because the screen is about to tell you right about now, I would suspect. Elder Scrolls 4. What's the subtitle? It's got a subtitle. Hey, there it is. Oblivion. Or whatever you're supposed to say it as. This ain't your dad's Skyrim, no sir. This is... By the standards of a video game such as that, archaic in a way, but I mean, god damn it, I don't, I don't just, uh, I don't just pick no, no game for no reason. I do have a soft spot in my heart for this particular one. Is it the jank? Yeah. Is it the music? Yeah. Is it how everyone is, this, there's like five voice actors in the entire game? Yeah. Is it the poor graphical fidelity? Yeah. Is it this rectangle? Probably. Oh. Jumping right into it, huh? Okay, um, so the first thing this game plops you off in is a character creator. No, uh, long sweeping introduction like Skyrim. Speaking of Skyrim, why am I not playing Skyrim, you ask? Well, I don't know. It's like Oblivion better. It's just a better game, in my opinion. What the fuck am I gonna do with this guy? This horrible, horrible man. Or woman, perhaps. Can't change the gender here, huh? Enter character name. Uh, there we go. Okay, what do we got? We got uh, Imperial. Oh, the Loden Himes. I'm playing on the Xbox 360 version. Over the Christmas break, I came away with not only the... I, I came away with the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 versions of... Well, okay, my chair just decided to drop down for no reason. I came away with the Xbox 360 and PS3 versions of the uh, Game of the Year edition. Let me just go ahead and try and raise this thing back up. Okay, now I just tilted it forward. There we go. Well, that was odd. Well, this is really nice, actually. My chair is kind of tilt... I've never tilted my chair forward before. Khajiit is a cat person. Nord is a Nord person. What else we got? We got Orc is a green person. Red Guard is a black person. What elf is whatever this is? We got more elves coming your way. Oh, there's a lizard, man. I always used to play as Argonians because I like the water breathing thing. But uh, I realized when I played Skyrim, like, if I don't play as a Nord, will I get to be a Dragonborn? Obviously, that's not how it is, of course. Dark Elf, High Elf. I've never played an elf in my fucking life. Uh, Imperial. Never played Imperial either, actually. Um... You want to be a cat boy? Or cat woman? Oh, they don't look very different. Though, to some people, the sexual dimorphism of fantasy races can be a hot button issue. For example, you know, it's like, oh, my orc is, my orc man is a nine foot tall guy who looks ugly as sin, but the orc lady is just a green woman. Some people are like, nah, man. Make them both seven feet tall and ugly. And I'm fine with that. Honestly, that makes sense to me. I think the only clear, like as far as the beast races go, the only clear distinction between male and female, it's kind of, kind of feminine features, either way. Um, I want to, because I have, I've never done a, a Fist of the North Star style hands-only run. Like straight up, just fists only, no spells, no nothing, never done that. And I'm thinking, if I want to do that, Khajiit have better hand-to-hand -hand skill with their claws. But I don't think I want to do that. Imperial. See, like, all these races are good at magic and stuff. I don't want to cast spells, but at the same time I want to look cool. 
But at the same time, I might just make a face that's really ugly. So why does it matter, you know? An orc. An orc, huh? Berserker Rage. That would probably benefit me pretty well, I think. Nord. You know, let's just be let's just be John Everyman here. No, John Everyman. There we go. Alright, let's see if I can mess this boy up. So they have presets, I think. Or they used to have presets. No? Great. So let's just start moving sliders. Let's <laughs> see what I come up with. Oh no. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> this is basically how every character creator goes the first time around. You just push all the sliders all the way and see what you get. And... Oh, what's the profile of this guy's face? Not bad, honestly. He just looks like he got stung by a bee. So far. Though, we're gonna... We're gonna fix that. Oh, nope. I'm gonna try and do this so that all the sliders are as far to one side as possible. One, two, three. Mm. Uh, I think that's as best as I can get out of this one. Eyes. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, God. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, good. He looks... He looks Cro-Magnon, almost. He, he looks like he would join Ron Perlman in the quest for fire. That's a deep cut. Not really a deep cut, but it's a good movie. You should go watch it if you have time. It's got Cheech Marin's daughter in it, which is weird. Well, if it's weird, I don't know if she's an actress or not. Never really seen her in anything else. Maybe she is, in which case calling her Cheech Marin's daughter is perhaps a little bit reductive, but I don't know. I was not paying attention to what the face was doing. Yep. Okay. He Yikes. Oh, jeez. And I don't like how, like, even though some sliders are getting pushed back, I guess it's to allow this sort of thing to happen. Now, you see this all the time where they push all these sliders to one side and you basically end up with the same monstrosity. This is fine. I call him Sharkfin. <laughs> you know, I'm happy with that. Oh, there was randoms. Tone. Skin. So I'm gonna make... Ooh, no, other way. I'm gonna make him... I know what I have to do. Oh, oh no. Blue. Oh, oh jeez. This is not... Perhaps not what it should have been, but I'm trying to make his skin as textured as a shark. Or it looks like a shark. Do sharks have beards? I don't know that they do. It doesn't matter. Eyes. Can I get shark eyes? I've never actually messed around with a character creator like this before because I've always just kind of like, alright, whatever, default face, don't care. I never even see my face. You don't play third person in this game, right? And you're always wearing a helmet. In most cases. So why does it matter? And like, as far as the role-playing element goes, I never assume the character. I just kind of, you know, I do my thing. If I want to go out and punch a guy, I guess that's what I'm doing this time around. Jesus. I don't, I, don't, I don't see an appreciable difference there. What does my lips do? Just looking. Uh... You know, I think we're good there. I think that's fine. Um, hair. Oh, what do we got? Oh, I yeah, just liked it. Duh. Very Beatles-esque. Ooh. Ooh, no. Definitely not. Perhaps. Okay. Ooh, that's evil. That's evil Chancellor Palpatine looking. Rogue knot. Thinning. Ooh, jeez. Ha 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 ha. Doo, doo, doo. I don't know if there's a barber in this game where you can go and cut your hair. I don't think there is. Not really a whole lot of things. Alright, we're just. Can I go, like, totally bald or not? I don't think I can. That's interesting. Alright, we're gonna go oiled. And his hair color will be as bright as fucking possible. If I go. Oh. Yeah. Yes, perfect, <laughs> Chancellor Palpatine. <laughs> uh, he is old as dirt. His complexion is as bad as can possibly be. Or maybe that's as good as possibly be. Yes. And so begins the journey of Bobbert, the shark-turned-man who punches things. Uh-huh. Oh, tutorials. It loads on these things. It's gonna take a long time. What's up, buddy? Oh, hold on. 
gameplay general. On, and I'm going to turn this down to about here. That will make it still somewhat difficult for me to play the game with my fists, but I won't lose I guess they don't every favorites. single fight. Your own kinsmen think you're a piece yeah. of human trash. Hey, 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 don't be mean to me. I turned on your, your, your subtitles. Don't, don't, don't talk to me like this. Hold on. Your subtitles are on. What's happening? All right, go ahead. There we go. Special treatment before the end. Oh, that's right. You're going to die in here, Imperial. Me? You're going to die. Guy, I don't think you ever played an Elder Scrolls game in your life, because no criminal in the fucking Elder Scrolls ever dies. Oh, good laugh, good laugh, good laugh, buddy. Good laugh. Good laugh. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. I'll punch, I'll punch you or whoever you want me to punch. Just let me out of here. No, dead. Hey, what's up? What's going on? I know it. My job right now is to get you to safety. What's this prisoner doing here? This cell is supposed to be off limits. Uh. Makes up with the watch. I... Never mind. Get that gate open. Yeah, get it open. Back, prisoner. Oh. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. Prisoner, stand aside. Over by the window. Stay out of the way and you won't get hurt. No I can't move. You've, put you've arrested go. control of myself. Not out of this yet. Where are we out of? You. I've seen you. You've seen me, the shark man? Let me see your face. I'm Taylor Lautner's father. One from my dreams. Uh-huh. And the stars were right. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. What's uh what's the what's going on here? Assassins attacked my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. The guards my are like, why the fuck are we talking to this guy? Let's just go. Escape route leads through your cell. Uh why am I in jail? Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. But who are I you? Your emperor, Uriel Septim. I didn't vote for you. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. Uh, I go my so own way. All. But what path can be avoided? I'm thinking I'm going to play this as not dastardly, but as much of an asshole as I possibly can. Please, sire, we must keep moving. Don't stop staring at me like a weirdo. No Alright, so they close the gates. See ya, buddy. You got it, Boris. Yeah, well, if you walked half as fast as me, maybe you wouldn't get ganked, idiots. See ya. So now that I'm free, I'm wondering what I'm gonna do first. Go, go to a nice restaurant, have a steak. I haven't tasted outside food in a while. You know, they change it being on the inside. Oh. Well, shit. Hey, hey guys, hey listen, there's a door over there. Can you can you go open that? Don't get too close. Oh, okay, sorry, hold on. Oh, okay. Stand aside, prisoner. You're in front of me. Oh, shit, what? Uh, you got it, buddy. Idiot. Oh, shit, they killed this guy. Now, I could take this sword... Or I could take this sword. But I'm not going to do either of that. I could take these robes. But I'm not going to do either of that either. However, if you do take the sword, actually, I'm going to pick up the, this. Because there is a reason to take this. I don't know. Keep going. Keep going. You stay here, prisoner. So what, you're telling me to literally just stay here and you're gonna lock this gate so it's like I never even fucking broke out then. Oh. I hear a rat just knocked down a wall like in a cartoon commercial. Jesus Christ. Oh, they're both dead. Jesus. Alright, whatever. You know those old cartoons where people just kind of like fucking bust out of the, the, the cardboard blocks? Get a lockpick in here? You sure do. I will take these for sure. 
Oh god, I forgot I look like that. There we go. Chancellor Palpatine, let's lock this. I hate... I mean, rather, I did hate the lockpicking minigame in uh, Oblivion. But once they put it... they Once they put the Fallout lockpicking minigame into everything... I'm kind of like, alright, I'm done with this. I'm done with this thing. I want the fun Tumblr minigame back. Boop. So yeah, I'm going to do fists only this run. And uh, if possible, I might have to do the Mage's Guild thing to fortify my punches real good. Or at least get a really primo item to get my punches going good. I'm not going to try and sneak as much. But I'm thinking maybe I might have to. Also, I might have to turn the difficulty up just a little bit. Uh, heavy armor if I want it. Lockpicks. Only carry as much as I can. I'm going to sell all this stuff. I don't want the weapons, though. To use a bow, be an asshole. Uh, let's turn the difficulty up a little bit. Gunpla. I think that only scales attack values and stuff, and the damage output of other enemies. So. That's probably fine. Whoa! Sorry, buddy. Don't give me no diseases. Out of my fucking way. Boop. Idiot. You can't punch me on the fucking gingerbread man. If I had... If I had paintbrushes, I wonder if I could get out there. What the... Ooh. No, never mind. I wonder what's up there. People no clipped up there? Probably. People have data mined the shit out of this fucking video game. Get the fuck out of the way. Hate you fucking piece of shit rats. What's in this thing? So I'm out of fatigue. And as I become more adept in my hand-to-hand -hand skills, my fatigue will of course not go down. But fatigue basically means... Alright, you do damage, you block, that's how you get fatigue. You're walking, you use fatigue. You jump, you use fatigue. It's basically your stamina. And if I'm out of fatigue, like I am currently in real life, because I'm low on breath, because I've been sick lately. If you're low on fatigue, then uh, that's more or less how you go about your day. You do less damage when you punch stuff. It's a bad way to be in. But that's just the way she goes sometimes. Uh. I know in my day-to-day, -day, I just punch a bunch of rats, and that's how I deal with my rat problem. Ain't the biggest problem in the world, though. Is this an apple? No, it's a pitcher. I love the sewers. Give me the sewers. Hey, rat boy, what's up? Fuck you. What are caves under this city? You think, you think for the Imperial City, the capital of the Empire of Tamriel, they would probably want to be like, you know what, maybe... I see a ruby there. Maybe we would want to be more, uh, more intuitive as it comes to patrolling the underground as far as our, you know, safety is concerned. Oh, a bunch of skulls. Woof, woof, woof. Skulls, big whoop, huh? Huh? Fuck your skulls. Bap! Because, like, if I lived in an Imperial City, and there were goblins under the Imperial City, I'd be like, fuck this, man. Rats is one thing, but goblins... That's another thing. Zombies? That's another thing. Potential vampires? I don't want to have to fucking sneak on this guy. Fuck you. Here's my sneak attack, idiot. Go down. Piece of shit. Now, if I could poison my fists. Oh, that's no good for me. I don't want that. Boop. I remember back when I played this game initially, I didn't understand how to do that many games, so I would just chance it with my picks and do the audio attempt. Audio attempt? Do the auto attempt? If you have enough picks, eventually you'll get it right. Whoa. Huh. That's fun. Can I pick up this body? No, not quite, no. What do you got on you? Gold, I'll take that, don't mind if I do. Uh, a rib cage? A rib cage. A rib cage. Is this a rat? Is this a live rat? No, it's a dead rat. Oh, a trap. Oh, a trap, 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 trap. I'm not sneaking. Fuck you. Did he get him? Probably not. Hold on. Oh, I'm trying to block the arrow. See if this works. Nope. Lower a bit. Nope. Higher a bit. So I think this is actually blocking his line of sight. Okay, this is not working. You can stop doing that any time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to take those either. What do we got in here? Oh, healing potions. So I do have a spell. 
that allows me to heal. I also have a fireball spell, but uh, we're not going to use those because magic is for idiots. Magic is for people who don't like themselves. Magic is for people with poor body issues. Where's the fucking leader? Hey. So if you find a shaman of these guys, which I think is you, yeah. Check this out. Bop, 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 bop. Huh, okay, no, never mind. I was told that if you kill the shaman, then the goblins just kind of chill the fuck out. I suppose that's not really true then, is it? You had a staff, where did it go? There it is, goblin shaman staff, what does it do? Shock damage, neat. Ooh. But anyway, moving along. Thanks for thanks for the visit, guys. Good seeing y'all. Have a lovely evening. Goodbye. I'm not talking to you, of course. I'm talking to the goblins. And I raised my spiel there. It was probably a bit too much like what I say when I end the episode. But uh, don't get it twisted. Don't be fooled. We ain't over. We ain't done yet. It's over. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter 3. It's over. Moving along, moving along, moving along. I'm turning my eye over this way. Oh. Hey, help has arrived, everybody. Boop. Whoa. Got him. That was all me. Oh, shit, we're still fighting. I helped. I helped. He might be working with the assassins. No, he is not one of them. Now, if he I punch you, us. he must help us. They cannot understand uh -huh. why I trust you. How can I explain? Listen, you know the nine, how they guide our fates with an invisible hand. Uh, sort of, kind of. I'm not really on good terms with those guys. In all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire. And every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. Alright, so this is part of the class building cycle. Which celestial body was I born under? Now, I usually always used to pick the shadow because I wasn't very good at this game, and I'm like, well, 60 seconds of invisibility is probably pretty alright. But, uh, I'm thinking. The warrior might be good. Thief might be good. Da, 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 da. Lady's blessing. The Lord. Gain the Trollkin curse. A permanent 25 weakness to fire. But you regenerate. 90 points of health if you use a spell. Good. 10 seconds of 100 points. Paralyze. Yada yada. Ritual. Give the power once a day. Restore health. Blessed Ward can turn out dead. Poison touch. This magic magic costs 100 points of fatigue. I'm going to go with the... The steed. Yeah. The signs I read I'm a horse baby. Right I'm not like a literal the horse baby though, but I'm just like, I'm a horse, comma, come. baby. What about me? Stars are not mine. Today, the steed shall speed your progress on the road to destiny. Now, when they got Patrick Stewart in here, aren't you afraid no to die? When they got Patrick Stewart in here to record all these lines, me. like, all right, Patrick, do one about the Atronach. Do one about the thief. I'm Todd Howard. Patrick Stewart, you got to record a line about the lover. Okay. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death, to face my apportioned fate, then fall. Hey, hey, My hey, Patrick, me excuse no me, oh. hey, Patrick Stewart, if you know you're going to die, if you know that your fate is preordained and you are going to die here and now, why do you have your bodyguards here with you? Are they not a liability? Because they're going to defend you to the death. And if they die while defending you, which you know you're going to die, isn't that kind of a dick move? I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. Okay, if you insist. Hola. You as well make yourself I don't want that. Open the door. Hey, hey. Oh, thank you. Alright, who wants some? I got hands to catch. Fuck you, fuck you, kick your ass. 
So, blocking as it stands really does you not do a whole lot of anything. Ooh, might have been it a bit over my head here. Alright, let's go. Back me up here, boys. Huh. You know what I'm gonna do? So I'm just gonna... No, not load it. I'm gonna... Gameplay. There. Because ideally what I want out of this is that I want my fists to be as viable as a sword in the long run. And that guy just came over here and did like a two damage sword swipe and fucking kicked this guy's ass. Not much fun. Good thing I didn't hit any of them, because in this game people tend to freak the fuck out when you hit them for no reason. Of course you can yield, but uh, a lot of people don't really tend to... Well, specifically not in this instance, I feel like that probably would not be the greatest thing to do. Hey, does anybody see any chests around here to plunder or nothing? Hey, don't be casting no magic at me, idiot! Fuck you, I hate you. Your mother, hey! Plunder, plunder, thank you. Whoop! Wrong guy, wrong guy. So this could go very poorly for me. We're good, we're good. So if you, uh... Don't, why, don't be, don't be fucking downer. If you, uh, if you hold block and then hit the talk button to a person, you will yield to them. So, like, say you, uh, say you murder a person, and the guards are like, "All right, I'm gonna fucking murder you now," and you're like, "No, wait, actually, I yield. Let it take me to prison." And then uh, you, you do that. Alternatively, you could uh, say you accidentally punch a guy in the middle of a big fight, and they start fighting you. Because that's a big problem in this game, when people just kind of start to clump together in a big old clusterfuck. You, you punch the wrong guy and all of a sudden everybody is aggro to you again, because all of a sudden you're a criminal, and criminals deserve to get the death penalty. Here you go, close the gate. Come on, Patrick, we gotta go. I'm the only one in this video game who can jump. A trap. Yeah, what's over here in this back passage? Let's go down this trap. Is it trap alley? Hey, I wonder if this door is going to open, or maybe this one. I wonder. I'm Droopy Dog. Hey, what's going on? What's going on, Bowris? Hey, what are you looking at? Stop looking at me like an idiot. Come on. It's a dead end. What's your pulse? They're behind us. Wait here, sir. Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your light. For Die. the Emperor! Now, I'll tell you what's going to happen here real good. Don't, don't be smiling. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Come with us. I can Whoop. go no further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He Listen, I'm not really that, the, that keen on this guy. I didn't mean to skip that. Whoops. Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him and close shut the jaws of oblivion. The jaws. Now, I can't move here. Stranger. Yeah, yeah, listen, 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 listen. Idiot. Oh. No. So that wasn't my fault. I stepped in some gum and I couldn't move. I, failed. I, failed. I mean, more specifically, I failed. It wasn't your fault. You, you, but also, you kind of left him here, so it was my fault. The amulet. Where's the amulet? I mean, your fault. It wasn't. I have it. Strange. He saw something in me. Trusted you. You know why? Because I'm cool. Because I'm a goddamn Cadillac of men here. I'm Shark Boy. <laughs> the amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the empire. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it. They say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? I gotta find Jeffrey. He said that no, Jeffrey. Uh, I guess there's another heir. But Joffrey would There's more hair. He, he said something about hair and then died. Order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wayne Priory, near the city of Coral. How do I get there? First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. Uh, the sewers. Some goblins down there, but from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced pilgrim. Am I right? Hello, howdy, pilgrim. I didn't know pilgrim was a thing, but also I'm thinking I'm more of a monk. You know why? Because my major skills. I need my major skills to be hand to hand. Because basically, so here's how this game works: is that 
you have your major skills and you have your minor skills, <clears throat> you can only level up. Like, if you, you don't reach an experience cap and then level up, you level up your major skills individually. And then as those level up, your overall level goes up. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do. Let's try out a custom class. Uh, combat. Continue. Uh, definitely want strength. Definitely want... I've only got two, huh? Speed, agility. Security, sneak, and marksman. I don't want agility, then I want speed. Okay, uh, major skills. I want... No, not you. Hand to hand. I want block. I want... I'm thinking I'm gonna want... Yeah, fuck it, let's do heavy armor. <clears throat> Athletics. Acrobatics. Because these basically just mean moving around will level you up. And that's what I want. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Security. Speechcraft. And... Mercantile. Okay. And I will call this... Shark. And... Ah. Uh, oh. Well. Out of characters, but that's fine. <laughs> yep. <sighs> this is this is a foolhardy errand. Yes, I want to be shark and awe. Yes, I want to be shark and awe. Really? I would yeah, you would have never guessed, huh? I you never would have guessed I would be a made-up shark boy. Oh ah, well. Uh, if I go through the sewers, what do I do? Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne and Priory immediately. Got it? Oh, you got it, buddy. I understand completely while I go and become arena champion, archmage of the mages guild, the head of the thieves guild, and the murderer of the dark brotherhood before I even bothered fucking around with this nonsense. Yeah, no, here you go, take that back. I just I just wanted to do that because it was a nice thing to do, but also I'm trying to be the most cantankerous bastard on the fucking planet. Either way, uh, this has been another episode of Oblivion. Thank you all for watching, and we'll do it all again next time, huh, everybody, huh? Alright, now I'm just gonna punch you. That's not smart.